So we made our inventory as a pointer and we can now just make it initialize it as an array but right now we have this problem uh, the problem is in order to use the arrays on um, the unreal engine we just cannot go for the conventional generic arrays in order to actually use the arrays we need to make them t arrays so by doing this we are telling um, the engine that okay we are just gonna use how uh, the structure for arrays that you normally use so t array is actually is a class but this class is um, this class has let's just think it this way um, it has a wrapper and in there there is our, the reference for our um, items for the array so we can just use that and actually use the enhanced things that it has in it so when we say inventory we must access it and we can then um, call whatever it can do so it has many things like add add zero contains um, all the stuff like that so let's just um, use add and then right now we need to give it an item and we are going to use it by using um, our constructor we can do it like this or in other way so let's just I will show you the both ways so item base Um, this is the type and let's just call it I don't know let's say parachute I'm just not following the naming conventions over there item base parachute new item base and then I'm just gonna give my parameters to it so um, what 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 did it take actually let's just look at it an item name and an ID so I'm gonna say f string and then let's just see what it takes um, I'm not sure if I can just um, go for normal strings like I don't know this um, let's, just, let's just try um, probably it will fail since this is something that I don't really use um, did this work? ID, let's just say zero and see if there are any problems. Yeah. So here is our first problem. So um, says you cannot convert an item to um how to say sorry, <laughs> I, I'm just stuttering. Um pointer yeah so this one is supposed to be a pointer because the new statement just returns us um, a pointer actually so um, we made a pursuit and now if I say pursuit over here it will just add our inventory the item that we created over there so I'm just waiting for um, the error to disappear if it does um, it just gave us an error bah, 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 bah. object type is um, item base so why is this this is because um, this one over here is um, made to store the item itself actually but we don't want it to keep the item we want it to keep the reference to it which is um, the pointer so we modify it by saying um, keep the pointer now and then since we are passing it a pointer 
it should just work now. As you see, it is gone. So by following this, we can just create all of these over there and achieve what we wanted. But <clears throat> the thing is, why are we even making this? Because by doing this, we are just wasting everything over there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this and place it over there. That way, I'm basically saying, okay, add this item and create it at the same time. Other, um, compared to, okay, I created an item, now store it. So, let's just copy this and paste it four times. Um, I'm going to say sandwich. Um, one other thing. Um, bomb. I made it two. And one more thing. And I'm just going to go random, say wings, and made it three. Right now, okay, we just have a basic inventory. We don't store um, the amount of items that we have in it yet, but right now what we have is basically um, just an inventory, and these are not consumable items, let's say it that way. So, um, let's just print these out to see um, if we actually have it. So, let's just make um, a function. Let's just copy this. And, by the way, I actually made um, the parachute function. I will show, you guys, show it to you guys um, when we get to actually calling the parachute method. I did not make... Um, a tutorial for that because it was much much simpler version of what we did with the flying on the previous episodes so I'm naming this print inventory and let's just change the category this is not something we are going to use in the final version like um, there's no reason to print the inventory. This is just for debugging purposes or if we actually achieved um, what we wanted to have. So let's go over here, void a seven character, print inventory, it gets no parameters. And now we need to access our inventory and it just has to loop for all um, the items that we have. So right now, since we are going to use for loops, I have to state maybe there are some enhanced for methods or for methods that um, uses the T array. But um, right now, I'm just going to go for normal C++ ones. So I say for I equals zero. I um, is less than Right now we access the inventory and we are just gonna iterate on the inventory for the amount of items that he has. So um, let's just see um, how it keeps it. So it's not we are looking at something like count or length. So um, max num what does it say? Returns number of elements in the array. So this is what we want. So this is num and i++. So basically we are, um, we are getting the amount of items. So it's just going to be a loop for every item in um, our thing. Sorry, this is integer i. Let's just proceed now. So I'm just going to copy this. I love it. I love it. I'm going to paste it twice because we have two um, properties. One is the item name and one is um, the item's ID. So let's just say item ID and item name. 
So over here, we need to access all these items by their index numbers. So say inventory dot. Now we need to find um, how do we access them by the index number. Index of by key. Mm, no. Yes, okay. So it actually has this. Um, we can just access it this way. So um, it's just like the normal arrays. So I say inventory. Now I got the item, so it returns me a pointer. And should I wait for this? I will, okay. I say ID. So this one gets me the ID number. And I'm just going to do the same for this one. But now I will access the name and I'm going to change this one to S because name is a string. So um, we got some errors. I don't know why. Formatting string must be a T chart array. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just call this um, a fake error and actually try to compile this. Um, the problem is there are more than one um, string types in Unreal Engine and I'm not really flexible with them. One is F string and the other one is text. So um, it requires a bit of practice to actually be um, fluent in doing all this stuff. So yeah, it gave us an error which I don't really like and I just can't press it because it's under um, the camera thing. Okay, let me just move. Shall log? Okay. Function call missing. Okay, so probably um, the problem we did over there was um, the access. We accessed it in a bad way. Maybe this. I don't know. Okay, I'll just pause it over here and see um, what we are doing wrong because this is just a logging mechanism and not really related to what we are doing. This is for debugging purposes. Okay, the problem we had was um, keeping the operator. Um, for some of the cases, it can actually work like this, but um, on this one, it just didn't work. Maybe it could just work like this. I have no idea. Yeah. We were supposed to do this or actually use the operator directly, which I will use because it is um, how it's normally used on normal arrays. So this is the final. So we just go back and see what happens. Oh, one more problem is that um, we made all of this, but right now it will not be able to log because we did not call um, this function. Let's just see if we made it with um, your function. Yes. So right now we can just call it with blueprint callable. So let's go back, wait for this and um, just, oh, okay. What, what? Um, another one. I'm just going to pause back again because this is stupid. Okay. I got the two problems. One was, um, this one over here is actually a method, but I just called it immediately. And the other one is, if you're using an f-string, it needs to be an array. So you just need to place this pointer um, thing so that it will work. So I'm just going to try to compile. Actually, um, we are reaching to the end of this. And um, it might just go for the other video actually it will be so see you on the next video hopefully it will work in the beginning of the next one